Hello there, Warden. I'm a friend. I've heard you're putting up the good fight against Loghain and Hal, right? Good for you. Make a spit on all those arrogant noble bastards. I've also heard you have certain skills. Skills of the street, you might say. No judgments here, mate. I want to help you. The name is Slim Cauldry, and if you've heard of me, I've been doing a sad job of it, haven't I? I hear a great many things, and for those who view certain pesky laws as mere nuisances, there's some ripe fruit to be plucked out there. I can point the way. All I ask is for a little slice for myself. Well, one of my mates noticed your skills. Nice piece of work, that uncommon calibre, if you don't mind me saying. But I need to know what else you can do. Ever done bump and grabs? Do much blending in shadows? Different opportunities for different folk, you know. Well, it was a pleasure. I'm a... They say you can get anything here. That's my sister's house. I'm almost sure of it. This is, yes, this is the right address. She could be inside. Could we go and see? Will she even know who I am? Does she even know I exist? My sister. That sounds very strange. Sister. Sister. Hmm. Oh, now I'm babbling. Maybe we should go. Let's go. Let, let's just go. Uh, hello? Hey, you have linens to wash? I charge three bits on a bundle. You won't find better. And don't trust what that Natalia woman tells you either. She's foreign and she'll rob you blind. I'm not here to have any wash done. <laughs> uh, my name's Alistair. I'm... Well, this may sound sort of strange, but... Are you called Dana? If so, I suppose I'm your brother. My what? I am Goldana, yes. How do you know my name? What kind of tomfoolery are you folk up to? Look, our mother, she worked as a servant in Redcliffe Castle a long time ago before she died. D do you know about that? She... You! I knew it! They told me you was dead. They told me the babe was dead along with mother, but I knew they was lying. They told you I was dead? Who? Who told you that? Them's at the castle. I told them the babe was the king's and they said he was dead. Gave me a coin to shut my mouth and sent me on my way. I knew it. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. The babe didn't die. I'm him. I'm your brother. Ugh, for all the good it does me. You killed mother, you did. And I've had to scrape by all this time. That coin didn't last long, and when I went back, they ran me off. And who in the Maker's name are you? Some tart, following after his riches, I expect. Hey, don't speak to her that way. She's my friend and a Grey Warden, just like me. Oh, I see. A prince and a Grey Warden, too. Well, who am I to think poorly of someone so high and mighty compared to me? I don't know you, boy. Your royal father forced himself on my mother and took her away from me. And what do I got to show for it? Nothing. They tricked me good. I should have told everyone. I got five mouths to feed. And unless you can help with that, I got less than no use for you. I... I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Well, he found it. And what good is that to me? 
None, that's what. Unless he can see to it that his family lives as it should. I suppose maybe I could give her some money for my nieces and nephews. Fifteen sovereigns, maybe? Would you let me give her that? Then here, Goldana, take this money. I know it's not much, but... You, a prince, marching in here with your fancy armor and such, and this is all you've got to offer? You must think I'm very stupid. No, wait, I, I don't think that at all. I, I want to help, if I can. You want to help? You go to whatever high and mighty folks you run with, and you tell them you've got nephews and nieces that aren't living as they've a right to. You do that! Yes, great. Thanks for reminding me. And let me promise you this, Goldana. I'll do whatever I can, speak to whomever I have to, to ensure you and your children are taken care of. Hmm, that sounds all well and fine, but you'll have to forgive me if I don't exactly hold my breath. You have my promise. I can't give you more than that. I... Let's go. I want to go. Goodbye, sister. Well, that was not what I expected, to put it lightly. I lived up to my promise, I suppose, but this is the family I've been wondering about all my life? I can't believe it. I, I guess I was expecting her to accept me without question. Isn't that what family is supposed to do? I, I feel like a complete idiot. Yes, I'm sorry too. I guess I should have known better. Let's just go. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Good day. The market is busy, is it not? Come, rest here. I have the finest selection of flowers and Orlesian scented oils in all of Denerim. For you, perhaps? The oils are very relaxing in baths, no? Much of this city is still a mystery to me, but the markets is like my home. Circle and sorcelled objects can be found in the wonders of Thedas, in the alleyway north. The armorer, Wade, and his emporium are just to the south. If you need work, outside the rectory to the southeast is a chanter's board. And if your thirst is strong, head to the Nord Noble Tavern north of here. Be prepared, though. They do put on many airs. I am from Orlais. You've heard of us, no? Your Denerim is a fine city, but I miss my Varroyo. She's quite beautiful this time of year. Orlais has many, many good things, but it is sometimes not so good to be... common. My brother had trouble with a chevalier and we departed shortly after. You know so little of Orlais here. The chevaliers are knights of the highest order. They are the most skilled in the world. Their discipline, formidable. For their service, they're allowed... Privileges. They can do whatever they want to the lesser born. A chevalier took an interest in me. It was his right, but it was unwelcome. Incensed, my brother hit him over the head with a pot. Such a thing is almost treason. We left that very night and came here.
That and more. Some revere them for their skill and their high service. But others tread lightly. As lightly as the mouse in the cat's den. If you will excuse me, I... I feel a touch lightheaded. Be careful with that package, you lazy slut. It's worth more than you'll make in ten years. Another visitor, the Maestro. Enjoy browsing my wares. Master Trader Ignacio, at your service, good sir. My cousin and I have trade connections all along the seaways. We have furniture, silks, carvings, and much more. Cesar handles the trade stock, I handle other affairs. Business deals, uh, meetings. Cesar makes it so I am free of the day-to-day -day concerns of our store. No, I am not. I am a trader at heart. My home is the road. But I was born past the waking sea in Antiva. It has been many, many years since I have seen her. But the road is a better mistress than my home city ever was. On the docks of Rialto, Life is cheap, as cheap as the dockside ale and the soiled horse. You can live a longer life out here, and a wise man can make a comfortable fortune in time. Straightforward, predictable danger is refreshing to me. Any moment in Rialto the streets can run red, and often do. I'd take dark spawn any day. At least you can see them coming. Um, no, not yet. Perhaps one day. It has been many, many years since I have seen her. But the road oh, is a better mistress than my home city ever was. Luck. I recognize you. From Ostagar. And trust this blood. You're a Grey Warden. Duncan's apprentice. You killed my friend. And good King Caelan. I demand satisfaction, sir. So you would compound slander on top of treason. You dare smear Terran Logain's word? I do not like your tone, sir. But you may be right. I may regret this, but I cannot duel someone who may be guiltless. Leave, Warden. If I find proof, we will meet again. Dwarven crafts, fine. Welcome, welcome. We sell only the strongest dwarven steel, folded over a hundred times in the forges of Orzammar. In times like this, surely your group could use some extra protection on the road. I'll answer what I can, but my policy is not to sell things that don't belong to me. It's the capital of Ferelden, so naturally the Queen and Regent are at the top. But the man who seems to be running the city guard is the new Arl Rendon Howe. Came in from somewhere up north. The lands meets the big news. Every dusty noble estate in Denerim is airing its sheets, waiting for the Lord to ride into town. Every piece comes with a stamp of assurance from my wife's father, the best smith in Denerim.
Turn your attention elsewhere. My business does not concern you. Thank you, and... So, what do you think will happen to all those people Good we day. left behind in Lothering? Some of them will find their way to Denerim. Many will die, as the Maker wills. Don't you wish you could have stayed there? To help more people, I mean. Message for you, milady. More things to deliver. Goodbye. The Major's Collective thanks you. Make us smile upon you. Good to see you again. Leave me to my business. You here to report another crime? I swear we should just cordon off the entire district. Oh, uh, can I help you, Warden? The lower market isn't deemed important by the Captain of the Guard, even less with Arl Howe in charge. So when I finally get the new men I request, I get the delightful surprise of discovering their Lord such and such's illegitimate, untrained, moronic whelps. But Lords keep sending me more of them. It's decent pay, no expectations, a uniform. So I have a legion of bastards to protect the market from pickpockets, stabbings, and whatnot. And all how specially picked men are the worst of the lot. With the bastards, I just have to worry about dicing the odd bit of drool or yelling at them too loudly and hurting their poor feelings, and then getting chewed out by their noble fathers. But I swear, the Arl's men are more criminal than the miscreants we occasionally arrest. Some of them are the criminals we have to arrest. So if your lifeblood isn't draining in the gutters as we speak, don't bother reporting it. To <laughs> what? You're serious? I mean, yes, yes, I could use help. I've got a pretty popular... Uh, establishment that's crawling with mercenaries. If I send my boys in, someone might get, maker forbid, hurt, and I'll have to explain to their noble fathers that being a guard is actually dangerous. The name of the whorehouse is the Pearl. Beat down any mercenaries that are out of line and send them a message. I said, beat down, not kill. Let me make that really clear, not on fire, or exploded, or make a nose, whatever type of grisly death you can dream up. Sorry, used to giving orders to my boys. Just leave them breathing and I'll be happy. Thank you, Warden. Happy hunting. Go to the Pearl. Remember, don't kill the troublemakers.
Welcome, friends. Welcome to Wade's Emporium. We have the finest armors in Denerim, maybe in all of Ferelden. How may we assist you? You're obviously not from around here. Wade is possibly the most brilliant armorsmith in all of Ferelden. That's not true, Heren. The dwarves of Orzammar make the finest armors around. These piles of rust droppings you force me to make are worthless compared to their work. You never let me have the time, the materials to make something special. Customers expect their armor in a timely fashion, not years late like the last time. That happened once, just once, and you never let it drop. I am. Wade owns the Emporium, but without expert assistance and, well, prodding, let's just say the Emporium has improved substantially with our partnership. But I do miss the good old days. I could really take my time to make quality. Oh, by all means, you can return to them. And to the gruel you used to fancy. No, no. Sorry, Herin. Certainly. Herin, the bloody customers are bothering me again. What do I pay you for, anyhow? Sorry, sorry. Wade is a genius. Truly, you will be astonished by his work. Uh, but he doesn't deal with customers. If you need anything, please ask me. And tell her I don't want her looking over my shoulders making doe eyes at me either. I'm thinking, blast it all. Uh, truly sorry, sire. There are many great tales of lost kings. Allow me. I could do that for you. What are you doing? You're not supposed to go in there. I'm sorry, but that room is not for guests. It's full of books and papers, and I'd rather they were not disturbed. I said no. Ginny TV was a very private person. No, don't touch that door! Enemy ahead. Watch out.
Dark Spawn have attacked Lothering. I don't think everyone even had fled by the time they came either. Word has it they swarmed the entire area, making off with prisoners and burning down the buildings. And then they were gone. Just as quick. I wonder if there's anyone left. I heard some chanters were going to head down south, maybe to try to find some survivors. I'm not holding out hope myself. Anything else you need? Which way you look it or we'll rip your damned eyes out and piss in your skull! Pigs, all Get over. around for me, men! Make us blessings upon you, war. Which way you look at all, we rip your damned eyes more. out and piss in your skull! And then around for me, Ben! My shift's nearly over. Thank God, trusty. Busy day today. What? And we're still alive. What now? Sorry. about a note. Maybe we have some things we can talk about. You are of great interest to me. That's a very direct question. On the whole, I don't like direct questions. For the sake of this discussion, let's say I am. Who do you blame for a death? The sword or the swordsman? Crows are swords, instruments used by someone else for their own reasons. So, one of our swords is hired out. He and his employees will do their job or die trying, but the crows as a whole have no bias. Ferelden is a busy place. Blight, civil war, other mayhem. Lots of people not getting along. Sometimes they really don't get along. Maybe want to do something about it. The people that handle that sort of thing can get real busy. You could say that. Not many people we can turn to. So, someone that's crossed our path and lived? Well, maybe they could help out. Make some coin. Everyone wins. I hand you a scroll. You read it, you learn about someone interesting. If you find out something happens to him, something unfortunate, then if we talk again, I give you money for letting me know. You don't like what's on the scroll, don't do anything. Maybe he has an accident and someone else tells me all about it. That, I cannot do. One master has a contract on you. But if you help us out, maybe if that master asks for help, he'll just get silence, yes? You can never be too careful. Can you blame someone for being circumspect? There you go. Makes for fine reading. If that's all, Luck be to you. I 
could do that for you. What now? Yes, make it quick. Strange. Let's see this. I knew it. I gave that man the best seven weeks of my life. Well, I guess he won't have me to push around anymore. <laughs> Welcome to the wonders of Thedas. We carry items crafted by the Circle, as well as a variety of antiquities. Is there anything you would like to see? Gollum dolls.
I won't take the blame for this one. This was bad from the start. No way he was here to deal. I won't take the blame for this one. This was bad from the... Thanks. I ain't sticking around to see how this turns out. I don't think so. I can't do that. Hmm? I, I finished. Nice to be in civilization. You can't buy or leave these goods anywhere. Magic exists. To serve man and never to rule over him. Foul and corrupt are they who have taken his gift and turned it against him. Those stung with a hundred arrows, those suffering from ailments both great and small, his heart was strong, and he moved on. They shall be named Maleficar, a cursed one. They shall find no rest in this world or the world. They came at me! Yeah, they got to learn not to mess with me. Us, right? I mean, he's, he's just going to disappear, right? but one world, one life, one death. There is but one God, and he is our maker. They are sinners who have given their love. Do you really know what's going on here? The blight? Yes. All right, let me take a look. Why? What did he do to deserve this? is 
but one world, one life, one day. They are sinners who have given their love to false gods. Good to see you again. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over. Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven crafts. Direct from Orzammar. Denerim, no one is to enter the alienage. There's been an elven uprising. Nyfears even have the gall to attack the Arl's only son, killed him in cold blood. With the whole Urian family dead, the regent appointed Rendon Howe of Amaranthine the new Arl of Denerim. First thing he did was lead a purge of the alienage. There's a mess in there. When things are put back in order, the gates will be reopened. Now on your way. You heard about all those mages in Lake Callanham. They have been turned into a pack of demons. Leave me to my business. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over. That scamp Kylon sent you, right? Glad he hasn't forgotten about us. The mer Welcome to the Pearl. I'm Sanger, the proprietor. Have a seat, get comfortable, and tell me what you need. Every one of my people here is a skilled craftsman, and don't let anyone tell you different. You'll have to go one at a time, I'm afraid. Our rooms aren't quite big enough to share between so many. 
But we can discuss that in a moment. So what would you like me to show you? The men or the women? Or some of both, if you prefer. Welcome back. What can I get for you, hun? Wait just a moment, then. Here they are. Aren't they beautiful? Now, before you pick one, let's go over the guild rules. You see these lovely gentlemen by the door? If you don't play nicely with my people, these boys will have words with you. You'll pay up front, 40 silver. I'm getting tired of throwing soldiers off the pier for forgetting their coin. We're a craft hall, not a public charity. So, shall I let you get acquainted? Make it 30 and we have a deal. Go ahead and choose then. Good choice. Come with me. Uh, we can start with a massage or just. Uh... Whoa! Whoa! I can't do that. Another Grey Warden supporter. Not just a supporter, Payton. That's a Grey Warden. She's the one Arl Howe is looking for. Our trap landed a Warden? You've got one chance to surrender. For what it's worth, I believe you. Not that I particularly care. <laughs> We're not common guards, Warden. We're Howe's elite. Shavra, Tanant, and Jarvi. Let's kill ourselves a warden. Enemy ahead. Watch out. <laughs>
Make a Chantry Templars who... I, I could have handled it. Thanks. I think I need to go hide somewhere. Just... Just like you wanted. Turn around and walk, stranger. This affair is for white falcons only. We're the toughest, meanest, and loudest mercenary band from the Free Marches. If you haven't heard of us yet, you will soon. Now get out. Get a load of this guard. You're telling us what to do? Uh, you have a point there. Man, let's clear out. Don't, don't want to get on Hokane's bad side, do we? Tell Carlo I owe him one. Welcome back. What can I get for you, honey? Wait here. Here they are. Aren't they beautiful? Remember, 30 silver up front. Go ahead and choose, then. Right this way. No, honey. The collar isn't for me. Yes. What? Is it customary where you're from to give complete strangers questioning looks? They call me Casavir. I'm first mate on Captain Isabella's ship. More than this, you do not need to know. You are surprised to see another strong woman like yourself. Isabella commands the crew on the Siren's call. She is a remarkable woman, and as you saw, quite formidable. She calls herself a duelist. But you cannot pay me enough to duel her. I'm not so stupid as those two. You should ask Isabella. I do not know how to explain. Got it. A Grey Warden. And I had heard that all the Ferelden Wardens were killed or exiled from this place. Oh, don't look so surprised. I've seen many of your kind in my journeys, and there is always something... odd about you. But, Grey Warden or no, it is refreshing to see another woman who answers to no one. Now, what can I do for you, my dear? Yes, the Siren's call. My pride and joy. She's seen me from my own ravine and the Isle of Lemeron to the coast of Parvolan. All I need is my ship and the wind at my back. And once my men have had their fill of the pleasures of dry land, we will be off again. 
We are getting as far away from this blight as possible. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere near the blight, and you'd get away too if you had any sense in that pretty head of yours. The way I see it, I can sail as far away from it as I need to, even to the other side of the far Anderfels. The sea will look after her own. Did Cassivere tell you that? It's true. I fight with quickness and wit, and they have served me well. I call myself a duelist because I honed my skills in duels with warriors I encountered over the years. As I said, it is better to avoid being hit, and it is best not to get into fights at all. <laughs> An unusual request, coming from a fearsome slayer of Darkspawn. I am flattered that you wish to learn from me, sweet thing. But I have watched you, and you seem to lack a particular grace that is required. You are accustomed to doing battle a certain way, yes? I can teach you some basics. Perhaps you can pass it on to someone who might be interested in what I have to offer. I do, however, wish to get to know my potential student better. So we shall call for a drink, and you will honor me with a game. Have you ever played Wicked Grace? It is easy to learn, but difficult to master. You must watch your opponent's moves as carefully as your own. Before we start, the cards must be shuffled. Shall I, or would you like to? Good. Go ahead, then. Are you done yet? Five cards each to start with, and may the cleverest player win. It looks like the deck is being kind to me today. Please, keep your hands to yourself. Ha! Huh. The Angel of Death card. The game is over. We must show our hands. Oh dear. Is that what you have? Do you need me to go through the rules again? I have four knights. Roses, ages, sacrifice, and wisdom. It beats your hand. <sighs> Still undefeated after all these years. Will I never meet my match? Not so fast, sweet thing. I'm not sure I know you yet. Come. Another game? Ah, oh, you're a good sport. Before we start, the cards must be shuffled. Shall I, or would you like to? Good. Go. Are you done yet? Five cards each to start with, and may the cleverest player win. It looks like the deck is being kind to me today. You certainly have quick reflexes. I'm quite impressed. And as for me cheating, well, the game does not matter. I just wanted to see if you could outwit me. You have proven yourself quick and resourceful, and I would be honored to pass my skills on to you. Come. We will need some space for this. I don't think there's anything else I can teach you. Perhaps tell those you meet where you learned what you know.
I was hoping I'd find you. I heard about the Pearl. I don't know how, but you got them to leave with no fuss at all. The Pearl's workers will... Nobody gives orders to my men but me. A little lesson in respect is in order. I see. Don't bother sparing these louts. Things are about to get messy. I see enemies ahead. People actually voluntarily attack you. Are they just stupid? Here's the payment I promised. I might have more work if you're interested. But I'm heading back to the market district. Back alleys are just too dangerous for me. Got it. It's done. Oh great, I wanted to stop. 
Yes. All right. Let me take a look. What? This is terrible. My beloved. Mm, no, I don't think so. Yes? Just like you wanted.
I'm sure you have your own business to attend to. You! We're about to send the boys to hunt you down! Boss says kill him! We are not alone. Clearly not alone. Now second place. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
What now? Yes? Oh? What is this about? How sad it is to see a Grey Warden manipulated. But I have no time to straighten this out for you. Men, let's teach the Grey Warden a lesson about trust. All right. Who ordered that?
I see enemies ahead. Anything else? Make 
I finished. I'll get on it. Now's better than later. All right, all right. Come <laughs> on. 
I'll get on it. so you can get off my back. All right, all right. Yes. No, bad. Bad idea. Awful. Don't do it. I know not how you have survived thus far. Is it luck or providence? No matter. You will not survive this! Something is coming. <laughs> Get on it. 
men are the work of our maker's hand. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. A little something extra, for friendship. Good to see you back. I've got complaints in the Nord Noble Tavern that some mercenaries have invaded. Nothing violent has happened. The cell swords are probably just disturbing the nobles' rarefied conversation. Just drum the louts out of there. The barkeep doesn't mind some blood, or sport, as she called it. Captain said, Denrim won't miss a few dead mercenaries. Do what you will, and good luck. Big battle out by Winter's Breath, I hear. Probably not. Terran low gain carved through him like a hot knife, I hear. That isn't good news. The alienage is closed. Be on your way. Dwarven craft. Find dwarven craft. Correct from Orzammar. You won't find better.
Oh, thank you, oh, thank you, Maker. Oh, thank, thank you, Maker. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What are you doing in Haven? There's nothing for you here. What do you want? Who? Perhaps revered Father Eirik will know of whom you speak. Unfortunately, he's ministering to the villagers at the moment and cannot be disturbed. Revered Father? I've never heard of this. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. Our ways are not the ways of the lowland cities. The urn is nothing but a legend. I do not know who Brother Jenna TV is or what he says. However, I'm sure people can convince themselves of anything.
No. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not quest. You may trade for supplies at the shop if you wish. Then I suggest you and your companions leave. Did it just get a lot colder, or is it just me? Allow me. I could do that for you. What's next? I was not expecting to find something so unsettling. Used for food preparation, perhaps? I'm just trying to be optimistic. The other explanation is slightly more disturbing. What now? Come, come, Bonnie Lynn. Tell us, tell us where you've been. Were you up, were you down? Chasing rabbits round the town. Come, come, Bonnie Lynn. Tell us, tell us where you've been. Come, come, Bonnie Lynn. We've a bed to put you in. It is soft, it is warm. It will shelter from the storm. Come, come, Bonnie Lynn. We've a bed to put you in. Dear, dear Bonnie Lynn. Sleeps the peaceful crib within. A mossy stone, a finger bone. No one knows but Lynn alone. Dear, dear Bonnie Lynn. Sleeps the peaceful crib within. What was that soup you made for supper last night? I finished. Oh, that? That's a traditional Ferelden lamb and pea stew. Do you like it? Oh, so it was lamb then. It had a certain texture I don't normally associate with lamb. 
They didn't make lamb and pea stew for you in Lothering? We ate simply there. Whole grains made into biscuits or bread, and vegetables from the garden, cooked lightly. No heavy stews. Ah, so the last lamb you had was probably cooked all lesion style. Food shouldn't be frilly and pretentious like that. Now, here in Ferelden, we do things right. We take our ingredients, throw them in the largest pot we can find, and cook them for as long as possible until everything is a uniform gray color. As soon as it looks completely bland and unappetizing, that's when I know it's done. You're having me on. Ha! <laughs> you need to eat in more Ferelden inns. We have nothing you'd want. Please go. Allow me. I could do that for you. Can't do that. Who are you? You're not from Haven. We... we don't get very many visitors. How would you describe the place you know only as home? No, I've never heard that name. I don't have much, but I suppose you can take a look. What are you doing? That's private! No!
uh, you're back. I think. Just like you wanted. It, it's done. Right. What now? Mm, no, I didn't think so. I see we enemies ahead. We are not alone. Really not alone. We are blessed beyond measure. We are chosen by the Holy and Beloved to be her guardians. This sacred duty is given to us alone. Rejoice, my brethren, and prepare your hearts to receive her. Lift up your voices and despair not, for she will raise her faithful servants to glory when her... Ah, welcome. I heard we had a visitor wandering about the village. I trust you've enjoyed your time in Haven so far?
This, my brothers, is what happens when you let an outsider into the village. They have no respect for our privacy. She will tell others of us if we let her. Word will spread, and then what? You, stranger, do not understand our ways. You would bring war to Haven in your ignorance. We don't owe you any explanations for our actions. We have a sacred duty. Failure to protect her would be a greater sin. All will be forgiven. Why are you always attracting danger? You fought our hand! Let's grab some glory! Who are you? They... they've sent you to finish it.
You don't know how glad I am to see someone who isn't from this village. I... Oh. The leg's not doing so well, and I can't feel my foot. <coughs> Thank you. That... that feels much better. I don't have time to rest now. I'm so close. The urn is just up that mountain. My research led me to Haven, and I have heard the villagers talking. I know the urn is here. Haven lies in the shadow of the mountain that holds the urn. There is an old temple there built to protect it. The door is always locked, but I know what the key is. Irik wears a medallion that opens the temple door. I've seen what he does with it. Yes, that is your key. Take me to the mountainside, and I will show you. It is not that far, and will you let me lean on you? For the urn, any pain is worth enduring. All right. What is on your mind? <sighs> yes, of course. How could I forget? Irik said they were ambushed, some killed, a few brought back to Haven to be questioned. He was so self-righteous about it, so smug. He seemed pleased that he had tortured and murdered these men. There's nothing I can do but pray those men have found peace. Let's just talk about something else now, shall we? Cure Arl Eamon. Is the Arl sick? What happened? Loghain? Why? Oh, I have been so occupied with the Anne. I've missed so much. I certainly hope the Ashes will save him. The legends speak of their miraculous powers. There are many stories of pilgrims being healed, the blind seeing, and the lame dancing in joy. Perhaps it is Andraste that does this. Perhaps it is belief itself. By believing the ashes are magical, you make them so. Anyway, that can be discussed once we actually have the ashes, and the Arl is better. <laughs> well... It wasn't exactly what I expected it to be. I do not know. When the Chantry was established, it was decided that only female priests would ever be ordained. It is possible that the villagers, the disciples of Andraste, predate the Chantry and so have no knowledge of the Chantry's rules. They call themselves the Disciples of Andraste. They are very, very devoted. One could say fanatically so. They must be here to protect the urn, but they speak of Andraste as though... as though she were still alive. I'm old enough to know that anything is possible, child. Or was there something else you wanted to discuss? I do not know. When the Chantry was established, it was decided that only female priests would ever be ordained. It is possible that the villagers, the disciples of Andraste, predate the Chantry and so have no knowledge of the Chantry's rules. They call themselves the disciples of Andraste. They are very, very devoted. One could say fanatically so. They must be here to protect the urn, but they speak of Andr... I'm old. Was there something else you wanted to discuss? So run along and get that medallion, then. <laughs> 